happens? Let me explain the hybridization of NCH3 thrice and NSH3 thrice. What is this? This is trimethyl amine and this is tricylyl amine. First, what is the central atom here? The central atom here is N. So, N. How many valence electron you know N? The atomic number is 7. 1 is 2, 2 is 2, 2 P 3. How much valence electron? The valence electron is 5. So, nitrogen. We are having the valence electron 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Now, moving on to CH3 twice. We know carbon. Carbon is having atomic number 6. How many valence electron? It has 4 valence electron. That is 1s2 is left. 2s2, 2p2. It has 4 valence electron. See, that is carbon. How much carbon you have? This is 3 carbons. How many electrons? 4 valence electron. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Here, 1, 2, 3, 4. Then, hydrogen. You have hydrogen here. This is 3. You have hydrogen. How much hydrogen is there? This is 3 hydrogen. That means, H with one electron which is bonded. H. Then H. Here also H. H and H is bonded. Here it is H. H and H is bonded. Now the bond between carbon and the, uh, nitrogen. The bond between carbon and nitrogen. And the bond between carbon and nitrogen. So how many bonds are formed? Three bonds. There are three bond pairs. And how many well, uh, lone pair? And it is one lone pair. So, three bond and four lone pair is totally four, um, four pairing of electrons. The hybridization will be sp3. That is, this is, if you take this as sp1, p2 and p3. So, this is a hybridization is sp3 hybridization. And what is the shape? Sh shape is structure that is tetrahedral. Uh, sp3 it is tetrahedral because of the presence of lone pair of electron due to the repulsion this shape changes to trigonal pyramidal trigonal pyramidal the hybridization is sp3 you have three bond pair and one lone pair and the shape is trigonal pyramidal so this is about uh, trimethyl amine when coming to Tricylyl amine, that is in this case also nitrogen. Nitrogen is the central atom. How many valence electron it has? It has 5 valence electron. See, the nitrogen is having 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 valence electron. Silicon. Silicon, silicon comes under carbon. It is also having 4 valence electron. That is silicon. Is having four valence electron. Here also silicon is having four valence electron. Next, the three valence electron is satisfied by hydrogen. See, one SI is containing three hydrogen. Three hydrogen. This is hydrogen. Now what happens? What is silicon? Silicon, what is the atomic number of silicon? It is 14. What is the configuration? 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p2. So this is the outermost 4 electron and then comes 3d. See what happens now? This is also having how much? 3 bond pair and 1 lone pair. The hybridization should be sp3, but it is not the case. What happens here? See that this lone pair, this lone pair will be involved in the pi bonding. See here, the availability of 3D orbital. Silicon has 3D orbital, but see in the case of carbon, there is no 2D orbital. There is no back bonding. 
but due to the availability of this uh, this lone pair of electron due to the availability of 3d what happens it forms a back bond with silicon this forms a back bond with silicon so what happens this one lone pair is not involved in the hybridization so you, you have only three bonding pair then the hybridization becomes sp2 hybridization see what is the structure here now nitrogen because there is no lone pair there is no repulsion see the structure will be sih3 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 because because it is sp2 hybridization you will be getting a trigonal planar it is a planar structure and what happens to this lone pair it forms a pi back bonding this is pi back bonding this is sigma and this is sigma and this is sigma nitrogen gives its a um, lone pair of electrons to the 3d orbital that is its pi back bonding so not this one it may be here and it may be here the structure of uh, nis3 triselyl amine is trigonal planar the hybridization is sp2 but here the hybridization is sp3 here lone pair is there but in this case lone pair is involved in the back bonding what back bonding p pi that means nitrogen see this nitrogen is 1s2 2s2 2p3 this pi orbital this p pi giving the lone pair of this lone pair of electron is given to d so we call it as p pi d pi this p pi is from nitrogen and this d pi is from silicon we call this as p pi d pi back bonding since the lone pair of electron is not involved the hybridization is sp2 and the structure is trigonal plane thank you for watching my video please subscribe my channel for more videos